$30. So I didn't buy what I considered an overly priced coffee cup, but I did end up buying what I'm probably going to call overly priced coffee in order to do this review video. Welcome back to the stovetop. Recently, my family and I were on vacation. One of the places we visited was Norfolk, Virginia. We went to a maritime museum called Nauticus, where the battleship USS Wisconsin is. We toured the Wisconsin and we toured the museum facility. The museum is really kind of interesting because it's a maritime museum themed uh, facility. There's, there's exhibits and that sort of thing there, as well as uh, they have interactive activities for younger children. We didn't go in that part of it. And the US Navy operates a maritime museum that's kind of dedicated to the region within their building, as well as having access to go over to tour the battleship. So in the gift shop, they've got different things, and this is something I thought might be interesting to try out. So this is their Whiskey Gun Barrel Blend. It's just a black plastic Mylar type bag. It's got a tab at the top to pull it open and it looks like it's a got a reclosable seal on there it's a small black bag this is only 12 ounces of ground coffee they they only had ground coffee there for sale otherwise i would have picked up whole bean on um, the label here it's got an image of the the battleship if you were looking back at the pilot house and turret number one from the or turret number one and two from the bow. It's kind of that angle with the American flag in the background. It says commissioned 1944. Fresh roasted, delicious, and flavorful. Then it has the website for Nauticus for the museum. Now down below, it's got little boxes that can be checked and they've, they've checked ground and they've checked eight ounces. So this is only half a pound of coffee. On the back, there's a, a couple labels. On the bottom, there's a couple labels. So here at the bottom, it says medium dark roast, Colombian and Brazil blend with notes of chocolate, granola, caramel, almonds, and citrus. So that ought to be interesting. And then on the back, it says it's roasted by richportcoffee.com. Now I'll include a link to Richport Coffee and I'll include a link to Nauticus in the description section below. If you go to the Richport Coffee website, you can buy coffee and you can buy coffee mugs. They do not have this coffee. However, you can order this from the Nauticus gift shop online and have it shipped to you. And then there's just the, uh, the barcode and the price here. You can see it's $12 for half a pound of coffee. So if this is a one pound bag, it'd be $24. That's about the far end of what I'm willing to pay for coffee. So let me go ahead and open this up. I'm just gonna go ahead and Flip this cutout here for the tab at the top and just pull away from me. And I should be able to open the reclosable seal. Yep, there it is, nice and easy. So the coffee is kind of a medium to dark color, just like what is it, medium to dark roast here. Let me smell it. Smells like regular coffee. And it looks like it might be finely ground, so this could create some problems with my Mr. Coffee plugging it up, but I'll take that chance. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the basket about three quarters of the way so I can try to get the, the full flavor out of this. I'll be brewing it with reverse osmosis purified drinking water, and I'm not gonna rinse the filter this time. All right, Mr. Coffee's done brewing, but before I pour my first cup, I did want to show you a coffee mug I did buy while we were on our vacation. This one comes from Cape Lookout, North Carolina. It's only $12.95. Now that's reasonably priced. So let me go ahead and pour the first cup. It's kind of a dark color. While I wait for it to cool, there were a few other things that I wanted to share. One is that if you follow the link in the description section for the Nauticus gift shop, you can order this coffee in whole bean. I really would have liked to have bought it in whole bean. I prefer that. It doesn't look like Mr. Coffee's plugged up from these grounds, but 
Still, I just prefer whole bean whenever possible. The other thing is Cape Lookout is probably one of the lesser known lighthouses. If you're if you're watching this video, you probably have never heard of it. A lot of people have heard of Cape Hatteras, which looks similar and is further north on the North Carolina coast, right there on the Outer Banks. In my opinion, Cape Lookout is the better of the two lighthouses to visit. You do have to take a ferry to get there. You can't just drive up to it like Cape Hatteras. But in, in my opinion, it's worth it. I'll include a link to the National Park Service for the Cape Lookout National Seashore. In that link, when you, when you open up the website, it has information about the ferry service to get back and forth to the island. And it's really, I think, something that if you were to visit coastal North Carolina, something that you would want to go to. Whether it was just you or couple or take the whole family because you've got the lighthouse, you've got the light keeper station. They do have a little gift shop. Sometimes they've got a food truck there and you've got the, the beach on both sides. It, it really is, it's, it's just beautiful out there. So let me go ahead and see how this coffee smells. Now, full disclosure, if you haven't watched one of my coffee review videos, I have a poor sense of smell. So I did not smell this brewing. Putting it up to my nose, it just smells like regular coffee. Now, I've been talking to Stahl to kind of let this cool off a little bit. Probably not long enough, but here goes. Okay, first sip, it's bitter. It's just bitter. Now, I, I used three quarters, or I, I filled the... The basket about three quarters of the way with coffee there are no instructions on this bag and i the some of the coffees that i've done have got instructions that, that tell you to use a lot of ground so i made this strong and i could use some strong coffee this morning this is my first cup this is the way i do these videos i'm i'm groggy i haven't woke up i want to see if the coffee actually wakes me up by the time i get to the end of the video so yeah uh Maybe I made it too strong. I don't know. Yeah, it's bitter. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a cup for my director. And we'll both sit back and just enjoy some coffee for a little bit. I'll come back with my final thoughts on the Whiskey Gun Barrel Blend Coffee from the Nauticus Museum in Norfolk, Virginia. So my director and I have had several cups of this coffee to the point where I actually brewed a second pot. Now with the first pot, I filled the basket about three quarters of the way. With the second pot, I only filled it about halfway. I have to say that the second pot isn't as strong as the first pot and the, the taste is, uh, it's still somewhat bitter, but it, it's just not as strong. Overall, I preferred the the second pot the half half full basket over the three quarter full basket but as i was sipping on the one cup that i let cool off all the way to lukewarm as i was sipping on it i noticed the bitterness stayed consistent and that's when i realized it's not bitter because it's bad coffee or it's bitter because it got cool it's bitter because it's a dark roast this is listed as a medium dark roast i've had some medium darks that have been more dark than medium some that have been more medium than dark I've had some, some, a few dark roasts that I've actually liked, but for the most part, I don't like dark roasts. My director and I were not dark roast people. So we don't really care for this coffee because it's more dark than medium. As a matter of fact, I really wouldn't even call it a medium dark. I'd call it a dark. Now, somebody who enjoys a dark roast might say this is a little bit on the lighter end of the spectrum of a dark roast, and, and I would agree with that. However, if you don't like a dark roast, you're not going to like this coffee. If you like dark roasts, I think you would like this coffee. And that's where the bitterness is coming from. Overall, it's not bad if I try to put myself in the shoes of somebody who likes a dark roast. It's got a rich taste. It's, it's really not that bad of a coffee. Now, would I recommend this based off of the price? $12 for half a pound. More if you count the fact that you've got to pay shipping in order to have this delivered. Or if you go to Nauticus, 
you're going to have to pay for parking, which isn't really too bad. We parked for a few hours for, I think, $8 or less. Uh, the admission to the museum, I can't remember what that was, but it really wasn't that much. I want to say it's less than $20 per person. We bought our tickets online and had them ready when we got there, so they just scanned us when we walked in. Other people were waiting in line to, to pay for their admission. And the museum is pretty good because it's... it's uh, you know, a building next to the battleship. So you get the exhibits and then you can walk over to the battleship and, and really enjoy it. Now, I will say this, comparing the USS Wisconsin to the USS New Jersey, the New Jersey is a much better museum ship than the Wisconsin because it's, in my opinion, the way it looks, the New Jersey is better maintained and there's a lot more of the ship open up for the public to see. So if you were to pick an Iowa class on the East Coast to go see, I would recommend going to the New Jersey over the Wisconsin. However, the Nauticus Museum is something that the New Jersey doesn't have, and that, I think, helps make the trip worth it. So the admission really isn't too bad. Parking isn't too bad. The prices in the gift shop, eh, some a little bit high, like this coffee or that one coffee mug, but there were other coffee mugs that were reasonably priced, I just really didn't care for the designs. That's why I didn't get them. So if you were to visit and if you like dark roast, I, I would recommend picking up a bag. I will say this. If you want whole bean, they didn't have it when I was there. I don't know if they normally keep that in the store in addition to the ground. If you buy it online, you can order it in whole bean form. So if you're like me and you prefer to grind up your own beans, that is an option. So for somebody who is already at the museum and, and likes a dark roast, this is probably worth it. But for somebody else who doesn't want to pay shipping or, or you know, they just don't understand why coffee that's over $20 a pound tastes better, it just, you know, they drink coffee to, to wake up. They don't drink coffee for the experience. This probably isn't for you. So hopefully this explains something for somebody who maybe visits a museum and wonders, should I buy this bag of overpriced coffee to try out and bring home? Depends on what you like. If you are a medium roast person like me, don't waste your money. Don't waste it. Just, you know, get something else uh, at, the, at the gift shop. But if you like a dark roast, I think you would like this. Thanks for watching.